Hi everyone, welcome back to another CN conference call. I'm Louisa Daly, a CN reporter, and today I'm delighted to be joined by Mina Chanda, who is the founder and CEO of Events Together, and she's also the founder of This Is Us Conference and Awards. So today, Mina's going to tell us a little bit more about her upcoming conference and awards, and kind of explain how it aims to drive diversity and inclusion forward in the events industry. Hi Mina, how are you doing? Fine, thanks, Louisa. How are you? Yes, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thanks for inviting me. Um, so just to kind of get straight into it, and for those who don't know you, could you tell the listeners kind of who you are and what you do in the events industry? Sure. So um, I have over 25 years experience with um, organising global events and exhibitions, and um, I have set up a... Uh, consultancy called events together and I work with various clients and various other event professionals um, organizing events um, but my main focus uh, which I have produced personally is this is us conference and awards which is a conference and awards um, really focusing on diversity and inclusion in the workplace and diversity and inclusion for me goes far beyond gender ethnicity race it's about disabilities it's about young people it's about older people it's about people who come from you know a whole host of different backgrounds and it's about giving people um, an equal opportunity in the workplace it is giving people an opportunity to progress as fast or as slow or at their own pace um, according to their own needs and wishes in terms of their career aspirations for example they could go to um, a disability recruitment agency we have Jane Hatton who is the CEO of Edenbreak which is a specific um uh, recruitment agency who only employ disabled people and whose candidates are also disabled so we all know that people with disabilities are absolutely capable of doing an everyday job so rather than um, not employing them or not knowing where to go this is one example of demonstrating where employers can go to find out more information about employing people um, who they perhaps didn't think of before yeah, definitely. And I mean, like you said, um, diversity and inclusion is, you know, all about intersectionality. There's so many elements to it. And I think, you know, it's important to consider that when you're employing people and, you know, when you're even working in the events industry. Um, where do you kind of think we are in terms of d &I now? And why have you kind of chosen the events industry as a platform to kind of drive this forward and discuss it? Uh, well, first of all, of course, I am. Um, that's what I do. I organise corporate events. And um, as an event organiser, we cross every single industry there is possible. I don't think there's an industry that we don't cross. Every single organisation um, either attends a conference or hosts a conference or a dinner or incentive or some sort of um, business event. So why not have um, a conference and award just based around diversity and inclusion in the workplace? Because that's very much a conduit and about a platform for um, encouraging employers to be more diverse and inclusive in terms of their, their organisation. Um, for me, it's very much about I'm providing a platform. I am um, providing potential employers to come to the event, to listen to DNI professionals, to learn from them, and to see what they can implement in their everyday diversity and inclusion policy and in their workplace. And it also gives people the opportunity to network with others, share ideas, share experiences, chat, network, um, be inquisitive, be, be curious ask questions, and also gives employees the opportunity to work with the types of professionals that I'm presenting in front of them at a later stage where they might need help in a particular area. We, I'm not saying that this is going to solve everybody's d &I problems all at one go. It is very much a, a process, a step-by-step sort of process that employees need to go by. There's no point rushing it because if you rush things, you get things wrong. But this is very much about building upon your 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 current policies and procedures. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, do you think, you know, this has kind of come at a perfect um, time for the industry because where are we kind of in terms of diversity inclusion? Are we getting better? 
there's still so much talk about the same thing about this, the fact that there aren't many people of color who are in senior board level positions. I know there was a survey a couple of years ago and they found that, that not one major exhibition or event organizer uh, of the top um, organizers had a person of color in their board level positions, whether it's male or female. I have found that the people who are progressing, um, for example, like myself, who's a person of color or mixed race, have set up their own business because they always found barriers in the workplace place whether it's getting better now I don't know because I'm not actually employed by anybody um, but I do know by attending various um, seminars and speaking on various panels myself that the conversation is very much in its early stages um, I think there's a long way to go um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done but if we all work together and if employers minds are open and employees minds are open because it's very much a two-way process then I think we've got a really good chance of being you know very diverse and very inclusive um, as an industry because as I said we are we as events organizers we mm. cross so many different industries so if we cross so many different industries in terms of diverse clientele then the companies um, should also be diverse yeah definitely and what a lovely note to end it on Mina do you want to tell everybody when the conference and awards are and anything you want to say yeah so the conference and the awards is the 12th of January it's being held at Kettering Conference Centre so it's really easy to get to from um, King's Cross just under an hour by train and also it's the middle of the country so very easy to get to by by road links as well free parking and I really want to see um, people who perhaps haven't thought about entering an award before um, or um, have entered an award and have won an award before somewhere else or maybe have entered an award and haven't been successful I want to see that depth and breadth of awards entry still coming through there is still time 30th of November is when we close um all nominations um and the 12 different categories so there's going to be a category for everybody there shouldn't be any excuse for any um organization not to enter because if we don't if you're not in it then you then you don't win it because you have to be in it to win it and you know it just gives people the opportunity um to really think about their practices in terms of diversity and inclusion it could be a project or initiative that they're working on that's been successful and, and i think it's really important to showcase that um because it's always the same big large companies the big corporations and the speakers from those corporations who speak at the same events and win the same awards I really want to see more new people come on board because every year if new people come on board and that's how we um, make a diverse and inclusive community. So the website is uh, thisisusconference.co.uk and you can buy tickets to the conference there and also enter the awards. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Mina, for joining. I know we're really looking forward to coming in January. Um, and thank you everyone for watching.